speech. Apparently the first time that anyone had gone on trial in New York City for killing a man because he was gay. Well, in Queens today, a jury came up with its decision, guilty as charged. Jurors convicted two men of stabbing Julio Rivera to death. It was a killing apparently motivated by their hatred of homosexuals. Channel 2's Troy Roberts has more. Emotions that the defendants' families kept bottled up inside during the trial spilled out into the courthouse hallway following today's verdict. Get that camera away from my mother! Get that camera away! After deliberating for a little more than a full day, the jury of seven women and five men found the two defendants guilty of murder for their parts in the July 1990 stabbing of Julio Rivera because he was gay. And Julio can't come back. Uh, we wish more that Julio was here, but if we had to have a just result after 16 months and 502 days of waiting, this was it. The jury convicted 19-year-old Estop B.C. and 21-year-old Eric Brown guilty of murder in the second degree with depraved indifference to human life. Each faces a maximum of 25 years to life in prison. B.C. wiped tears from his eyes as the verdict was read in court. Eric Brown's older brother, a transit cop, dropped his head as Brown's parents sat emotionless. The prosecution's main witness, Daniel Doyle, who confessed to stabbing Rivera in a Queen's schoolyard, testified against his two friends in exchange for a deal that allowed him to plead guilty to manslaughter. Without the Doyle testimony, I don't know that the conviction of the other two defendants could have been had. And uh, that's why it was essential to, uh, to allow for the, uh, the taking of uh, the plea by Doyle. It was noted during the closing arguments that B.C. and Brown did not deliver the fatal stab wound against Rivera, but they did use a claw hammer and a pipe wrench in the attack. Still, the chief prosecutor in the case asked the jury, and I'm quoting now, when you go out headhunting with these types of weapons, what could your intentions possibly be? After listening to all of the evidence, the jury decided the trio's intention that summer night was murder. Murder inspired of a hatred of homosexuals. The gay community has looked at this trial as a watershed event, hoping a tough verdict will send a strong message. Still, the victory is bittersweet. Hopefully a very strong message will, will be sent out that acts of violence against gay men and lesbians is no longer tolerated from here on in. Julio Rivera's family said the Queen's man is an unlikely martyr, that his death has now given a voice to the many victims of gay bias, and no one can afford to not listen anymore. His Thank death you. was not in vain. Um, my heart goes out to victims, to families of victims that haven't been able to say that. And um, we share in their sorrow today, and I hope they share in our joy. In Queens, Troy Roberts, Channel 2 News.